One in seven shops now lies empty across the UK, according to new figures released today. The shop vacancy rate in the top 650 town centres remains stable at just above 14%. The local data company's latest report, called Shopped Out, shows that retail parks have shown the most significant decline in health in the past six months, following high-profile casualties such as Comet. And it's really these retail parks with three great big boxes which have landed from Mars and a car park which are really no longer fit for purpose because they're not the click and collect omni-channel environment which have food, beverage and entertainment all rolled into one. The LDC figures also show that the number of food and beverage units have expanded at three times the rate of shops. So actually we had an additional 500 new leisure units open in that last six months and really the leisure units are the future and I see that from currently 23% of the total offer that will probably be closer to 40 to 50% in the next three to four years. The LDC held a panel discussion today to debate the key issues facing retail in the coming 12 months. The topic of business rates was high on many people's list of changes that need to be made. I do think there will be some more retail casualties. In our recent review, alternative review of the High Street, we highlighted that there are 20,000 small businesses out there that need help. And if this government doesn't look at this rates issue very urgently and reverse their decision not to do the valuation in 2015, if they don't do that, I fear that more and more businesses will go under. Yes, I think I'd add my voice that uh, uh, we want the 2015 rating revaluation reinstated. Huge changes of va in, in values have occurred, and if business rates don't reflect rental values, I mean, the tax is just... Uh, makes no sense at all. I think uh, industry is inevitably still grappling with the combined effects of uh, uneven recovery, if, if, that, if that's what it is, uh, plus the, the uh, real unknowns around how consumers will deal with uh, mobile commerce uh, and, uh, and click and collect. If you look at France, for example, we can see in 2,000 click and collect outlets uh, in food retailing alone. I think the UK is in a bit of catch-up mode on this at the moment. Uh, and in some senses, consumers are leading the way in terms of saying how they would like to deal with the retail offer. The north-south divide is also still apparent. Of the 25 worst centres for empty shops, 21 are in the North, Midlands or Wales. Stockport MP Anne Coffey says local authorities need to focus on encouraging independent retailers because it is very difficult to know what the big retailers are planning. The most difficult thing to do at a local level is to get the big retailers round the table because often the decisions that are made that affect your town centre are made somewhere else and it's very difficult to get hold of the decision makers to, you know, to help regenerate local um, business plans and that is crucial. I mean, I think if retailers want to, to continue to have an outlet in town centres, need town centres to thrive, they need to be much more in the kind of partnership mode and you know, much more willing to take part in meaningful partnerships at a local level. This is Annabel Dixon for Estates Gazette.